Okay, this is where we're going to start how to automate signs pack one in Bob's Mods. It's the same as how to automate in the base game. So let's do I'll show you how I like to do it. So we start off with a single belt with copper on one side and iron on the other. Going to want assembling machine, a bit of a space. Assembling machine here. Iron gear wheel. Then we move on to move that one. So this one's going to feed iron into the factory producing iron gear wheel and we are going to feed the copper on the other side of the belt into it here. We're not actually going to need to feed the iron in here. However, the iron on the other side of the belt will be useful for an upgrade later as is leaving the space here to produce even more iron gear wheels. Now where do we put the iron gear wheels? I'm going to turn on long inserters and output here. While we wait for those to build, let's put down some power poles. Okay, okay now that we've got power going, we need to put another belt here. That will feed these iron gear wheels. into the assembling machines, just like that. And we'll set the recipe to science pack 1 on all the machines. And here we have all the machines creating science pack 1. We then want an output on the an output on the other side of the machine, like this. Power. There we go. Right, the way I've just done this is I've put the power poles in the middle of the middle tile of the three on either side of the assembling machine and then a gap. The reason why is that if we look here, zoom in, there we go. If we look here, the area of influence of the pole just covers the assembling machine on the far edge on the next one over here. It will be more easily seen along the bottom. There we go, look, this pole here is covering the one on the two inserters feeding into itself plus the two either side feeding into the far end of the assembling machine on one side and the other end on the other. That configuration, as I've used there, full coverage. The only disadvantage is you need one pole for each side. Not a problem. Okay, then we want to build some labs. I'm going to go with five labs. That's going to take a moment to build. Okay, for future expansion, we're going to leave a bit of a gap. Not much of a gap. So it's going to come in from here. I'm going to put it on the same edge here. There's two for now. Now, likewise, place the pole in the centre square, and then the next one would be one over like this. Inserters. Well, at this point, we only need one inserter. like that. I'm going to zoom out again and as you can see this is how you'd make oh, I'm going to need to put power here. That, there we go. As you can see iron and copper in one side makes the gear wheels all gets fed into a row of assembling machines. Well they produce science pack one and they go along and enter the labs. 
We're not actually entering the labs at the moment because nothing is researching. We have science pack 1 being fully automated, now we need to automate science pack 2. To do this we need to add an extra resource than usual. Basic transport belts just require iron, but the inserters have a different recipe in Bob's Mods. So if we look at the recipe for the inserter, it requires a basic circuit board. The basic circuit board requires one wooden board and three copper cable. The wooden board requires wood. So what we need to do is have an input of wood. There's the wood input that I set up earlier coming down there. Now you would likely want to set up a greenhouse system to automatically produce wood. I'm not going to go into that in this tutorial. Now here's our wood. We're going to put two factories here. These are going to produce basic circuit board. Both of them. These are going to be placed on the opposite side of the belt here. They are going to need power. As an input to these two factories, we are going to use the belt like this. On one side of the belt we are going to place copper cables. So here I'm going to build a long handed inserter to reach over the gap. assembling machine producing copper cables. This is then going to place on this side of the belt here. On the other side of the belt we are going to place wooden boards. We don't need that. So the wooden boards will then need to be fed with wood and that is going to need to be fed with raw wood uh, like so and we need to wire it all up with power poles just like that and then as you can see it's all going to be placed on the edge of the belt here picked up and placed into these factories here which will produce the basic circuit boards and place them on the side here. Okay so now we need to place an assembling machine here to produce our belts, basic transport belt. This wants gear wheels and iron plates. So we'll place that there and then output here to this side of the belt here. At this point I'm going to research near inserters. I'm now going to use assembling machine tools. See tutorial on how to make electronic circuit boards here because you need those to make an assembling machine too going to use a near side of belt inserter to place the output from these two machines on the near side where the transport belts go on the far side. They're not off. No. These are going to be producing inserters. An insert requires three ingredients and therefore cannot be built in assembling machine one. We also need power. So these are going to want two inputs 
one of them a long handed inserter which will take off the iron and copper plate belt and a standard reach inserter take off the circuits and gears belt and then it's going to output and place on the near side of the belt here. I'm going to then go back to standard assembling machine 1 where I've built 5 science pack 1s. I'm going to build 6 science pack 2 machines. Science pack 2. Just as before we're going to need power poles in the same configuration. There, an extra one here. These are going to take in from this side of the belt. And we're actually going to output, we don't need these here. We're going to output on the other side Sorry, the same side of the machine on the same side of the machine using a long handed inserter on this belt here. Now that we've got the science pack 2s being produced, we're going to just feed it up here. onto the opposite side of the same belt that is carrying science pack 1. No upgrades required to the lab system. Though I am going to just build another two here, like this. And there we have it, full automation of Science Pack 1 and Science Pack 2 using copper, iron and wood.